that's how pride gets away with nudity so it's like an organized group okay. of people um the other thing about public nudity is that uh you can be naked and if somebody tells you to put your clothes on you have to listen to them yep. but you can't be arrested just because you got asked to put your clothes on right so people think like oh i'm gonna get arrested if i'm naked no you'll get arrested if you resist what you're being told to do yeah but we've never i mean we've had a couple of these stunts and we've never had a problem we've with never it. Had a problem uh, can i tell you a really great story just super it. quick a nude story so <laughs> back in 2015 um for nui blanche mm -hmm. we decided that we were going to because nui blanche is this big art party that happens all in over toronto. the city yep. in toronto so all this cool weird stuff is happening we decided to take uh, a truck and make like a giant vagina <laughs> on it <laughs> love it already <laughs> and put it on the back of our truck and like ride in the back of this vagina truck all over the city during nui blanche so i decided to do it naked in november <laughs> <laughs> might I add <laughs> um, and so we're riding on the back I'm riding on the back of this and all of a sudden like this cop car pulls up behind oh, us no. right and it's it's funny and it's super embarrassing because they stop us right in front of a restaurant so the people <laughs> in the restaurant are looking at the vagina truck and me naked they but then watch. they're really looking at me because now there's a cop car behind me <laughs> <laughs> but the reason we got stopped uh -huh. wasn't because I was naked. It was because I didn't have a seatbelt on. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so, I mean, maybe if I was wearing a seatbelt, it would have been fine. Um, but, yeah, so it was really it was really odd and funny. <laughs> but it kind of killed the mood. And then I started to feel cold. And for some reason, I wasn't cold until that happened. So we, we shut it down pretty pretty fast. But, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> there, was a, there was some chats about some vagina truck running around the city. Oh, and, like, and yeah, the so. cop car just following it. Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, it was it was funny. So I mean, we we enjoy these nude stunts, and I mean, you know, again, the values of Oasis Aqua Lounge is that we were a clothing optional facility. Mm -hmm. You know, we embrace nudity if that's something yeah. that somebody wants to do, and nudity doesn't have to be sexualized either. Yeah, that's the other thing. People just automatically equate nude nudity and sex mm -hmm. and like it doesn't have to be that way there's nudists that visit oasis aqua lounge mm -hmm. and nudists in general don't like to pair sexuality with being nude because they're kind of fighting against the stigma that like like, like that it's they're a sex cult or something exactly like, yeah yeah because that's what people are going to jump to right when they're yeah. like a bunch of nude people orgy like yeah delinquents and deviants like, same thing with women's breasts too yes, right like the women oh. can't be you know topless unless it's like unless it's like related to some, some sort of sexuality and yeah. like that's not true either yeah so we enjoy participating and putting on these types of events to challenge views of mainstream society yeah so and plus it's hella fun <laughs> yeah i love being naked yeah oh, i love it i hate the winter because it's just less opportunity to be naked like even my apartment i'm like i'm wearing clothes and it feels wrong yeah <laughs> like i have socks on it's everything so about the sad. season feels wrong right oh, now. tell me about it oh my god don't get me started okay what is happening um around uh Annie Mae North uh Annie North. Yeah, yeah here in Toronto so we are going to be putting on I'm putting on a uh it's one of our mega parties mega party happens the third Sunday of every month and it's going to be a mega cosplay party yes. so pairing it with uh, Anime North mm -hmm. and I've recently just booked some uh, fabulous entertainment uh Pickles LaVe oh, and Imogene, love them. Imogene Quest they're going to be doing um, a drag cosplay act uh, yes pickles uh, they've both done my show pickles oh. uh at the last show did a stapling uh act because they do like circus yeah circus really cool act kind of freak lesk they call it um so they did like yeah a strip but it was to this so to the song love hurts and they stapled like hearts all over them and then the last one they stapled to their forehead, a heart stapled to their forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because they took a video and I am just losing my mind. Oh in my the video. I'm just like, ah! like yeah. I'm just screaming. I ruined the video. I know, it's making you feel all like, ah! I'm like, you know? not the forehead! <laughs> oh my God, so amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm really excited to have them perform. And then yeah. we're going to be also having a, so we do spectator sex shows, which is basically yeah. a live sex show. Yeah. And we're going to be having a themed cosplay sex show uh a twosome for sure maybe a threesome oh my so that's gonna be really fun oh. and also it's the long weekend too right so that's always always exciting for us hopefully the weather will be great Ugh. you know if it's not who cares if it's not yeah no what doesn't no matter it's great i was at oasis a couple days ago and um it was like it, we got this terrible weekend of weather uh here in toronto it's like s snowing and freezing, freezing rain, rain like just out of nowhere Ridiculous. mid april um and i 
I was at Oasis and we were on the dance floor and we were like, it is hot in here. <laughs> we're like, this feels like we're in the fucking Caribbean yes! right now. It was so <laughs> lovely. Like it was like our little oasis, if you will. Yeah. Like, like it was so hot and we we're just like, oh, we're sweating up a storm and we love yes. it. Well, it's, it's always hot at Oasis, no matter what the temperature's like. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always than one. Yes. Uh, tell me about um you've been on the podcast before talking about Sapphic Aquatica. Yes. Because that's kind of your your baby. Yeah, that's my baby. Event, right? Yeah. So you've got a couple coming up in the summer. Yes. Yeah. So I decided to switch up the programming a little bit um, because the feedback I was getting from guests was that there wasn't enough summer events. Mm -hmm. And those are the events that people, most people can come out to. Yeah. So instead of doing a couple of like early spring, I decided to do three summer events in a row. Love it. Uh, May 27th, June 17th, which is the Pride edition of Sapphic. Always woo -woo 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 -woo. a super good time. And then July 22nd. I actually haven't done a Sapphic Aquatica event in July since like the very first year I started it. Oh wow. Yeah. Which has been just over six five. Five years. Yeah, just over five. Yeah. Yeah. Pro yeah. Um, so Sapphic, uh, so the first so Sapphic, exciting. yeah, I'm really excited cause, uh, cause it's just great to be able to be out in the sun in the summer and, and just enjoy this beautiful, you know, queer sex positive body positive event. Like when it's nice outside. Yeah. And, and what's explain to people just quickly, what is Sapphic? Mm -hmm. um, so Sapphic Aquatica is an exclusive bathhouse event for women in all trans identities. Yeah. Um, so regardless of where you fall on the trans spectrum, you're absolutely welcome at Sapphic. Um, it started out as more of a lesbian identified event, but it's since expanded to be a lot more inclusive, and that's a, just a really exciting development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love Sapphic events. Um, I love seeing you there. That's like the one time I see you at Oasis that's true, at night, because I'm not really there at yeah, night. Yeah, you're never there at night. That's yeah. totally true. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Um, I love it for that reason, but also I love it because um, I... I'm not necessarily so social at mm. Oasis um, mm. on a regular night that's more like of a hetero crowd. Like, um, I'll, always with the regulars, we're having a lot of fun. But I'm just me and my level of nervousness around yeah. new people. I'm not always willing to go out and talk to people um, at Oasis, right. including. But... I tell you at Sapphic, I am not, I'm, I'm talking to everyone. I know, like, that's so it, awesome. Yeah, and it's funny, like, I, I follow a lot of, uh, a lot of trans identified people on Instagram, yeah. um, just because I like to, I'd like to be kind of immersed in that community, and I like to be connected with that community, yes. and like, I, at the last Sapphic, I saw a bunch of people who I've been following, and, awesome. and they've been following me as well, and I got to meet them for the first yeah. time, and like, I swear to God, I was talking with everyone. One, which is kind of unlike me to tell yeah. you the truth like I'm kind of a private like or not private but a, a quiet person mm -hmm. especially with new people but mm -hmm. I was like making the rounds I was like it's so nice to finally meet you oh, to like 12 people that's so exciting it was really I great because like for me too like I talk to a lot of people online and social media yeah but I mean really like I you know, I, I'm not necessarily all that social all the time. Yeah. And Sapphic is like the one event that I continue to host. Yes. And it's a chance for me to like connect in person with like my friends. Yeah. And you the know, community. That I my community. Yeah. And I wouldn't normally necessarily always see them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's just, and it's just such a comfortable, warm it is. environment. It, it is. It's, yeah, I really, I just, I just really love it. I love that I've been given this opportunity to provide this type of environment as well. Yeah. It kind of started off with me needing that environment for my own reasons yeah but it's since like extended out and like to be given this like opportunity is such a privilege mm -hmm. you know what I mean like uh, like I, I I just I feel blessed yeah. you know and it's connected me with so many amazing people that I probably would not otherwise like meet because my life before Oasis and my life before Sapphic was just very insular mm -hmm. so I've since been able to grow my own community and like find my own safe space and yeah. you know be able to express myself in ways that I didn't feel that I could before yes yeah. oh I love it and lots of fun things happen at, at yes. uh, Sapphic last time we had burlesque mm -hmm. uh, we had this like live sex squirting performance oh my god it was insane with the it instruments was insane. instruments playing it was and... kind of witchy it yeah. was like I'm like what's, yeah, tambourine. what's happening right now <laughs> it's like this like hippie Wiccan sex yeah. performance yeah. it was fucking incredible <laughs> Yeah, it was really beautiful. And then drag. Yep. Spencer Money was there, oh, who yeah. is a friend that I've recently like yeah. become close Spencer's with. Spencer's amazing. Yeah, and Pretty, Pretty Ricky. Ricky. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> They're all fantastic. Oh, love it. Yeah, come out to Sapphic if you haven't been. It's fantastic. Yes. Um, 